time for Pop News. Adrian's here. You've got a, you got a lot of it's like window swag shopping here. over yeah, here. Yeah. Like, oh, do I have to talk now? I kind of just want to go through this gift bag. <laughs> well, let's uh, first let me get to business. Okay, we're starting things off with business the gear time. up to the Grammys. I will be flying out immediately after the show uh, to Los Angeles. It's a who's who, of course, of the music world, and now we're seeing where they will be sitting in the audience. We are told that Drake will be sitting just in front of music legend Quincy Jones. You can see his face right there. Jennifer Lopez will be sitting front and center with Cardi B. And Lady Gaga will be next to Mark Ronson and Katy Perry. Dolly Parton and Chris Stapleton will be side by side just in front of Camila Cabello and BTS. So now you know if you were there who you'd be sitting by. Mm. But again, very, very well, they have the pictures, too, to help people figure this all out. Well, you know, we, we forget what Who's they look like. Oh, there's it's Quincy Jones. Jones. Is he the guy that has a big party every, every year? Are you going to that? No, that's Clive, Clive Owen. Clive Owen. That's right. Yeah. Mm. Clive, Clive Davis. Davis. Like, Clive who Owen is no actor. What are you talking about? Yeah. One for three. Did British you just say, actor. who is Quincy Jones? Did you just <laughs> say that, really? I didn't say who. I said who throws a party. Oh, okay. Yeah. What was I going to say? <laughs> I'm going to talk to you after the show. We're going to have a little education session. No. Um, let's talk about the swag bags, okay, that Grammy presenters and performers will be taking home. They're available at the gift lounge run by Distinctive Assets and valued at nearly 40000 bucks. The Whoa. most expensive item Whoa. is a week-long spa vacation for two worth almost $20,000. I that think this? that's what's oh. in my hand. I wow. think what? nobody's going to notice this if, if this little envelope goes away. No, Seven nights no, at the Golden Door. Ooh, Ooh la la. All right, there's artwork, jewelry, clothing. We have some of the items here. Of course, everybody needs beauty products. They've got 3D moisturizer, hair dryers, doggy that. toys. I mean, everything. A back massager. Rob needs a doggy toy. <laughs> <laughs> if you steal this, you could end up with Quincy at the... <laughs> Or Clive or, or Owen. Or Clive. <laughs> Clive Owen, whoever that is. Okay, get ready for a more Kim Possible, the award-winning animated series undergoing a live-action transformation for a Disney Channel original movie. Kim's a modern-day teen hero who balances high school while saving the world from dangerous villains. And the actress who plays her is ready to take on the role, saying the movie will appeal to audiences old and new. Kids who are watching Disney Channel now are going to love it, um, but I also think that the people who grew up on Kim Possible are, can find something that they love about it too. It's going to be very nostalgic for them for sure. There's a lot of, um, you know, hidden things and Easter eggs and um, stuff that was put in the show just for them. Yeah, the show was on about 2002 to 2007, I believe. So a lot of kids grew up with it. Now they're all grown up. Kim Possible premieres next Friday on the Disney Channel. And finally, we're celebrating National Pizza Day, and I can't think of a better breakfast pizza for pie. all of you, except for Dan, because yeah. he doesn't eat yeah. anything mm -hmm. pizza-related anymore. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of controversy. I would investigate the deep dish. Yeah. Oh, you would? It. Really? I'm not going to eat it, but I want to take a look oh, at it. You're going to investigate it? Oh. Okay, so listen to this story. The Chicago PD threw down the gauntlet. They tweeted this. How will you celebrate Chicago deep dish or old-fashioned thin crust? Either choice beats New York-style slices. They call it a pie, right? The NYPD chief of detectives, Dermot Shea, answered again. back saying, trick question, if it's not from New York, it's not pizza. So then they, like, went back and forth about football and So which is better? Fest. I mean, I love Chicago. I like making the best hot dogs with the best pizza in New York. No. Yeah. I mean, the, the sauce is so good. It's I'm so double good. fisting. It's in your mouth. You know what I want? I hope that we invest in an oven here at Good Morning America <laughs> so we can hey. warm up the pizza. Yeah. Oh, before you know what you cold should pizza have? is you know the best. A chili dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Dan with the yeah. final word. A dad he joke. wins. Lives. <laughs> Adrian, safe travel. Thank you. See you tomorrow morning. You tomorrow Thanks, morning. everybody, for watching. Bye. Bye. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.